Hi there, friends. I hope you're doing well. So it's been a little while since I've posted anything. That's because I've been a little busy. Back there in the background, you can see what I've been up to. I've doubled my array from 400 watts to 800 watts. So I've essentially added four more panels and put them in series. So I now have a parallel of two series and each series contains four panels. Now, if you want, let's go inside and I can show you a little more of how this works. Now, before we head indoors, I should show you what exactly is going on here. So we have a rack here of solar panels. You can see here, I'm just gonna go around this beam here. You can see that they are together in series all the way up the line. And then on the other side here, we have the same deal. Panels are connected in series. Down there at the bottom on the negative, they are connected in parallel to my negative lead. And up here at the top, they are connected together in parallel on the positive lead. And on the positive lead, I've got a 20 amp inline fuse. And I derived that calculation from adding and uh, calculating the overall power that this particular array is going to uh, develop and I was able to calculate that at just under 18 amps so I have a 20 amp fuse here I also have some 30 amp fuses inside in case for any reason the 20 amp doesn't cut it but the 20 amp has been doing really well it's always a good idea to mark your wires I use a little bit of red tape to show that it's a positive versus a negative lead very simple now you may have also noticed here that I've got a couple of other loose panels sitting around you might be wondering what those are for well, that's because I actually have two solar systems here working together. And down here at the bottom, you can see my grounding wire going down to my nice copper grounding rod right there. Right, here we are at the back of the cabin. This is the wood stove I installed way back a few months ago. What a great piece of gear. Over here on the right, we've got my workbench. It's the reloading bench. Hasn't been doing much of that because it's been acting as my bench while I work on my solar system, which is still yet to be complete. I still have some more components on the way, but this is the current state of things. Let's start at the very bottom. Down here is the grounding wire that came from the um, grounding spike outside. It comes to this 2000 watt inverter. What it does is it converts 12 volts direct current from the batteries we have up above here. It will convert that current to 110 volts AC alternating current, which is what powers these three sockets. And we have a remote switch for that that goes all the way up here. And what that allows me to do is to remotely control this inverter without having to crouch down every time. The other things that I have coming in from down below are this 12 volt socket. It allows me to run any 12 volt accessory outside if I should need to, such as my electric cooler. And I can also take this and plug it into any of my battery systems that I have here on the inside. So I mentioned that I have two solar systems those loose little panels you saw outside they connect to this little pwm pulse width modulation charger and it will deliver a maximum of seven amps to any battery that i can connect and so that's the utility of this this is an older system i used to run in a trailer that i had off the grid and what this allows me to do is to take for example this little 80 amp hour battery and this provides me with 12 volt power and I can use that to run anything that you can run in a 12 volt socket such as this little inverter right here or this little hub so you can use this to charge cell phones tablets whatever technology you have that's rechargeable I suppose you could recharge with that the other neat thing about this is that if I have a, an ATV battery a motorcycle battery a vehicle battery that is need of a charge in need of a charge it needs a boost you can remove it from the vehicle bring it inside and you can just connect it to this and away you go 
you're going to have a fully charged battery within a few hours, as long as there is some sort of daylight outside. Moving on up. The inverter, as we said. And up here, I have a shelf on which the cells are located. These are 3.29 volt cells. They are connected in series using these bus bars. And they are managed by this smart BMS, a battery management system. And what they do, what that does is it ensures that the charge that we are pushing to these batteries from the charge controller or anything else that's connected to this, this ensures that the charge is equalized across all of the cells. And it also ensures that when there is discharge occurring, that it's monitoring and able to boost voltage to those cells that are getting more discharge than the others. Pretty neat little thing. What it does is it increases the longevity of these cells. So if you're going to build your own battery pile from multiple cells, it is highly, highly recommended to protect your investment with a BMS. Right. What else? Um, the inverter itself is connected to the uh, battery bus bars with a fuse. Charge controller also connected with a fuse. Uh, the front 12 volt panel that we have here is also connected with its own fuse. You're starting to see a pattern. Master disconnects and fuses for anything that is a load. This here is a remote switch for this new inverter charger that we have down here it is massive but the reason why it's so massive is that it is a 3000 watt inverter as opposed to this 2000 watt and it also allows me to deliver 30 amps of charging power to these batteries right now i'm only able to deliver 10 amps of charging power to those batteries from a generator with this I'll be able to deliver 30 amps of charging power with a generator. Why is that important? Because when these batteries go out, you want them to come back quickly. Um, and so far, I haven't had an issue with these new solar power upgrades. But in the future, I am increasing the amount of batteries that I have so that I have more run time, even if we have very dark days. And so... Um, you want to have a, a fairly good ratio of charging power, which includes your solar panels, your charge controller, to actual storage of that power, which is your batteries. So batteries are on the way. They're on a boat. <laughs> what else have we got going on? This is the remote switch for that future inverter charger um, that I am going to be dropping into the system. Here on the front panel, We've got illuminated USB charging, pa uh, charging ports. We've got illuminated switches. You've got um, a little indicator there for the current voltage. And of course we have our ubiquitous 12 volt sockets everywhere. Well, there you have it. That pretty much sums up what we've got. Oh, shouldn't forget here uh, some of the accessories. This is the lighting that we have up here, pure 12 volt. This here is just an accessory power bar that goes straight to the inverter. And last but not least, the thing that makes it all work is the charge controller. Uh, this thing here is basically what converts the daylight uh, energy that is generated by those um, solar panels into usable charge power for the battery. Um, you will need a charge controller if you have a solar system and you need to size it to what your solar panels are going to potentially deliver to your batteries. Same thing with the fuses. All right. I think I've hammered on at length about that. Well, that was it. Just a short little video on uh, what my solar setup looks like right now. It's sure to change over the next little while as uh, the rest of the components show up like uh, batteries, uh, smart uh, BMSs, uh, bus bars, etc, etc. So uh, stick around and if that's something you like, please let me know. If you want to know some more of the gory details behind this setup in future videos, let me know in the comments below. Uh, there's a whole lot I could be talking about that I didn't cover. Things like wire gauge, 
um, things like how to determine your fusing requirements, things like that. Now, I also have a few other uh, videos that I have planned and a viewer gave me some great ideas. One of them is how to build a fire and how to make a fire from what you've got with you and around you. And another one was how to find good water to drink or how to make good water to drink. So these are a couple of uh, things that I'd like to cover in the future. Hey, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more, please click the like button, share it, and uh, subscribe to my content. And uh, you'll be able to see when I've got more videos on the way. Hey, take care of yourselves, my friends. I'm the Frugal Gunny, and I've got zero tolerance for evil.